How's it going, everybody? Welcome to this week's episode of Kane Round Robin, the show that gives you everything you need for how long this semester lasts. Today, we'll be, we'll be discussing topics such as using Cougar Link, debating our favorite bad films, and taking our camera on campus to see what students are listening to day by day. My name is Desmond, and I'll be starting off today's show with our first segment, Cougar Link. Here's a question for all my students. Doesn't matter if you're commuting or dorming. Have you ever been on campus and thought, man, I wish I knew what was going on? Well, here's a simple solution. If you check Cougar Link, you're able to see everything that's occurring on campus, plus more. On Cougar Link, you're able to find everything you need to know about clubs, fundraisers, games, contests, and so much more. Participating in school activities benefits students in the long run. Don't believe me? An article by the Graduate School of Education and Human Development stated that participating in school events and clubs leads to students obtaining more network activities, work better in teams, get more friends, and mutual interests, and gain professional experience such as developing leadership skills. If you haven't joined a club yet, I strongly recommend you do. There's a bunch of different clubs you can check out. There's clubs for sports, fans, gamers, film buffs, leisure activities like yoga and gardening. Anything you like, you'll definitely be able to find it over there. Clubs aside, there's a bunch of events you can participate in on campus. If you have checked the events tab on Cougar Link, you can see what the university is hosting, from sports games to workshops to fraternity slash sorority events. Not too long ago, the Office of Diversity and Equality and Inclusion hosted a lantern festival to mark the first pull of the moon, the lunar moon, of the New Year Lunar Year. For Valentine's Day, the Kane Wellness Center and the Office of Residential Student Services hosted an event called the Paw Effect Valentine. The students are allowed to de-stress with therapy dogs. Man, I know the writer of this episode wish we had to read about this event earlier. One last event I'd like to mention is the Culture Karaoke event hosted by Zeta Fay, the Beta Sorority, and the Office of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion. Therefore, participants were able to sing along to their classic R&B and hip hop songs, such events that anyone is able to join. Well, don't tell anyone I said this, but there's lots of these events that we're gonna have that include free food. So even if you don't plan on staying at these events for long, at least you can get a meal for free. One last thing I'd like to mention to you guys is about volunteering. Don't change the channel, please. Please do not change the channel. If you're searching for volunteering and events tab, you can find the multitude of events that people can participate in. Think about giving back to the university and the community by trying to help out. Volunteering includes helping out on elderly homes, helping out in bake sales, donating blood, helping out in cancer walks. Volunteering is not only to help the community, but it helps the individuals themselves. Volunteering helps people increase social skills, bring out your comfort zone, and improve your self-esteem. Giving back to your community is giving back to yourself as well. So please, after this segment is done, go to Cougar Link and sign on and volunteer at one of these events. You know what? <sighs> Logging into one of these events right now. Nope, not that one. You know what? I would actually like to do that one. I'm sure I'll find one that I like. Oh, 
here's one, talking about volunteering, I actually found one. Well, that's it for this segment. After the PSA, we'll move into our second segment, talking about our favorite terrible movies. See you soon. <laughs> We're, We're helping, helping our, our classmates. classmates. Thank you. Aquí ayudamos a quienes les gusta comer postres ricos. I'm helping my customers. Sí, muito obrigado. Tchauzinho. Eu estou a fazer isto para ajudar a minha família, comunidade e amigos. Hi, my name is Marconi Gabs, the health director for the Township of Getting vaccinated is the best way to ensure that we continue to help others in our community. COVID-19 vaccines are safe, effective, and free. So please continue to help your community by getting vaccinated at one of our upcoming vaccination clinics. Remember, together we can help our community. Thank you. Welcome back, everyone. Hope you guys found a place to volunteer at. Do not ask me if I did. Well, we're covering our second segment. Would you like to discuss what we're about to talk about? Yeah, of course. My name is Michael, and we're going to be talking about our favorite bad movies. You know, terrible movies are great, like watching any Adam Sandler movie. I know a certain TV studio production professor that would agree with me on that one. So tell me, why really watch bad movies? I mean, I don't really see it as anything like that. I see bad movies as something enjoyable. If you watch something terrible with friends, you'll probably have a better time watching it than any Oscar winning movie. We're college students. We'll have to balance out schoolwork, social life, everything in between. So once in a while, just put something terrible on and enjoy it. I like that. That's nice. Yeah, it's a good way to distress. Okay. So, Go ahead and give me your favorite bad movie. My favorite bad movie would probably be Sharknado. When I first watched it, I thought, this makes no sense. How could this be made? Is this the dumbest thing ever? And then I thought about it. This is the dumbest thing ever. That's the whole point. I don't know who thought about a tornado that's made out of sharks but I hope that guy is still working in the industry. Have you ever worked on special effects ever in your life? No, I haven't. You could have been one of the special effects people on that movie. I'm sorry if that sounds mean, but 
the move, this movie really shows that you can put anything you want. It doesn't matter how bad you are, you can make a job anywhere. Somehow, look at the actors in this movie. They look like they didn't even need to audition. It's like they just had to show up to an audition and they automatically given the job. As stupid as their characters are, if they were played by good actors, I don't think they would be as fun to watch. Mm. And when they, you know, taken out of the film, I don't know you c if you can say they got killed. It means, it makes it all the more better. Hmm. Any memorable parts of the movie? The whole 86 minutes are the most important parts of the movie. If I had to narrow it down, probably the part where the character Finn jumps into one of the flying sharks and cuts it in half with a chainsaw. That sounds ridiculous. What do you mean? That sounds like a fun time. I think I love that most of is the half of the movie is just a montage of speech scenes because the editor don't didn't know how to transition from scene to scene. My favorite part of the franchise is the last installment where they go back in time to see other Sharknados through history. Literally, it's the dumbest thing ever. I love it. I can't stop thinking about it. It's really ridiculous. But I'd gladly check it out. It sounds like a fun time. Oh, trust me. And if you like the first movie, you probably like the next five installments. So, six in total? Huh? That sounds awful. So what would you say is your favorite bad movie? Ah, oh, man. My favorite terrible movie would probably be The Room. Oh, that's a classic. Yeah, it's, uh, it freaking sucks. But <laughs> everything is nonsensical. The plot makes no sense. The jokes aren't funny. The editing is bad. The acting is atrocious. You know how many people say two wrongs don't make a right? Well, they were right. You need a million wrongs to make a right movie. The most interesting part of this film is how it came from the ignamic Tommy Wiesaw. This guy's backstory is so weird that we know nothing of his history. He just appeared out of thin air. So what's the plot of the movie? I cannot tell you. It's something about an affair, then it becomes drugs, and then it's about these other plots that just doesn't matter or doesn't get resolved. If you can't get into this movie, you can also check out the movie about the making of this movie called The Disaster Artist. It's an interesting thing to see, the making of this film and what Tommy Wiesaw and the Greg Cicero went through during the production. It's a real feel-good movie and actually does tell you to follow your dreams. Thanks for the recommendation. I'll definitely check that out. I hope you like it. And hope, hope you, the viewers, check out them too. Let us know what you think. That's it for this segment. Check out the movies we mentioned and ignore any Adam Sandler movie after the PSA. We'll see what everyone on campus is listening to. See you guys real soon. I don't remember how it started. Close the door. Our back and forth. It always came back. You probably don't remember what you told me. That was perfect. But I heard every word. What's up, guys? We're out here at Kane University, and we're going to go interview people on what music they listen to, why they listen to music, and everything in between. Let's go. Yo, what's up, bro? What's going on? Yo, 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 what music do you listen to, bro? I listen to a little bit of everything, pop, heavy metal, hip-hop, R&B, yeah. jazz. So, 
why do you listen to those music? Well, it all has to do with like you know the music I got. I was listening to growing up. You know, my people who were older than me, my cousins, uh, my father, you know, other members of the family. You know, they all got me into that kind of stuff. You know, my guitar instructor, I played guitar. I got me into a lot of older bands too. So yeah, and that and the you know the people I hung out with. Cool, cool, cool. So, do you listen to music for studying? Uh, a little bit. I mean, usually something more calmer, but. Uh, Sometimes I actually put on classical when I'm studying because if I listen to anything too heavy, you know, I get distracted. Yeah, I understand that. All right, so we are here with Yannick. All right, so um, first things first, do you listen to music? What kind of music do you listen to? Rap, hip hop, classical. Yeah, okay. Um, why do you listen to those types of genres? Do you listen to music when you study? Uh, Alright, so we are here with... Benjamin. Okay, okay. So, do you listen to music? I do. Um, what kind of genres of music do you listen to? I listen to rap, I listen to pop, I listen to gospel. I listen to almost everything, anything I like, yeah. Okay, okay. Why do you listen to those types of genres? It just kind of just sticks out to me, you know? It sounds good, I'm gonna listen to it. Oh, okay. Yeah. And the final question is, do you listen to music when you study? I don't. I don't. It distracts me. Yeah, I need peace of mind. Yeah, I understand. I understand. Alright guys, so we are here with... Mo. So Mo. Alright, so, do you guys listen to music? Yeah, I do. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> Alright, yo, so, um, what kind of music do you listen to? Mostly like rap and like trap and <laughs> uh, Mostly like rap, hip hop, uh, reggae because I'm Caribbean and uh, uh, jazz. Oh, okay. So why do you guys listen, listen to jazz too? That's the hard. <laughs> so what do you guys listen to that kinds of genres for? You said why? Yeah. Uh, Cause I like music personally. So like I don't judge music. I listen to everything and give it a chance. I just like music personally, so that's why I do that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I just personally like music. I feel like uh, if you listen to all types of music, you get a better understanding of different cultures and different types of people, and you actually find yourself and figure out like who you are by like listening to different types of music. So I like everything, really, but those genres specifically connect to me. Okay, okay. Um, do you listen to music when you study? When I study, no, but when I do homework, yes. Nah, because I can't concentrate. Nah, I can't concentrate. <laughs> Alright, guys, so we are here with uh, Grady. Okay, so what kind of music do you listen to? Um, I usually listen to like some pretty classical music, so, like pretty like 1990s. Okay, 90s kid, okay, okay, okay. Um, why do you listen to that type of music? Um, Something relaxing, like you like, can get studying with it. I can just walk around and just be at ease. Mm -hmm. All right. So the next question was, do you listen to music when you study? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I listen to some without lyrics sometimes, like just to like put some background. All right. So we're here with Thomas. Okay. So, um, Thomas, do you listen to music? Yeah, I do. What kind of music do you listen to? Hip hop and R and B. Okay. Why do you listen to those types of music? Because it's very popular and it's pretty good. Okay. Do you listen to music when you study? Yes. Okay. Thanks, Tom. That was it. All right. So we are here with the Wanderers. Okay. So, um, what music do you listen to? I listen to all types. I love all types of music. Okay. Um, why do you listen to all types of music? Um, I feel like music is just it, it's an art. So. It's not, it, it's also the song, but it's also the meaning of the song. You know, there's always a story behind it. You can really relate to music. Mm -hmm. um, final question. Do you listen to music when you study? If I study, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, it depends on the mood. I guess it depends on the class. Yeah. <laughs> I understand on that one. <laughs> All right, guys, so we are with... Uh, Katie Keiko. Okay. So, Katie, um, what kind of music do you listen to? Um, I listen 
is like indie, uh, Broadway, literally everything. Okay, okay. Why do you listen to those type of music? Because it gives me so much serotonin. Like, imagine like waking up in the morning and you feel like, and then all of a sudden you're like, yes, party on, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, lastly, do you listen to music when you study? Yes, but it can't have words in it. So I listen to like movie scores. For example, my favorite one at the moment is the Night in the Museum score, Fire. Okay, okay. I should listen to that one day. All right, so we are here with Evan. All right, Evan, so what kind of music do you listen to? Uh, a lot of pop, some anime, some old school. Whatever it feels like, you know? Okay, okay. Why do you listen to that type of music? Um, makes you happy, you know? Okay. Like you want to get hyped up or something, listen to rock. I feel like it's a chill moment, put a lot of instrumental on, you know? Okay, it's okay. About the movie. Um, also, last question. Do you listen to music when you study? Yes. Okay. All right, thank you very much, Evan. And there you have it. Always good to see the diversity that can be found on Kane campus. Studying is different for everybody. So if you like listening to music, make sure it isn't something that distracts you so much. Well, thank you for all, thank you all for watching this episode of Kane Round Robin. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Catch us next week where we cover the history of the Kane University campus, things to do in Union, and students' favorite activities to do for fun. See you then.